Suppose the carboxylic production function assume this functional form located. Okay. To um, there are technical data substitution for carboxylic production function. We need to take the partial derivative of the carboxylic production function with respect to x1 and with respect to x2, and this will uh, give us the marginal physical productivity. Uh, of the factor x1 and of the factor x2. So if we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x1, we will apply power rule. Power will come over here and the power will be reduced by 1 and x2 as it is, right? So we have taken the partial derivative of the production function with respect to x1. And the same way, a as it is, x2 power x1 as it is, right? This one. And uh, we have to take the first order derivative of the function. So uh, we will multiply the power with the coefficient, right? So it is 1 minus a. 1 minus a will come over here. And the power of the x minus 2 will be reduced by 1. So it will be minus 1. And this is plus 1. So it will be cancel out, right? And this is equal to a time. 1 minus a 1 minus a is the actual power of the x2 right and x1 to the power a as it is and the power of x2 has been reduced by 1 which is cancel out with plus 1 all right now the technical rate of substitution is the marginal physical productivity of factor x1 and factor uh, divided by the marginal physical productivity of the factor x2 we know that this is the first derivative of the production with respect to 1, x1, which is which is this one, right? And this is the first derivative of the production function with respect to x2, which is this one. A is cancelled out with A, right? And now we can uh, compare the power of x1 and the power of x2. What we will do is look at the power of x2, which is minus A. So x2 and x2 base are same so we will shift the negative power to the numerator so it will become plus a so that's why as it is the power of x2 is already 1 minus a when we shift this minus a power to the numerator it will become positive right this is 1 minus a right and the power of x1 is a if we shift this power to the denominator right so it will become minus a plus one. So look at it. This is this is minus a and plus one. Minus a is cancel out with plus a. Since the power of x1 is one, and so the power of uh, x2 is also one. Compare the power, the power of x2 is one, and also the power of x2 is one. So we can factor this constant out a over 1 minus a so we have factored it out and we are left with x2 divided by x1 only and this is nothing else this is a technical rate of substitution of the factor x1 and x2 we will later use this uh, technical rate of substitution for the derivation of the uh, elasticity of substitution for the Cobb douglas production from here so remember this technical rate of substitution it will be used later so this is how to derive the technical rate of substitution for Product class production function. Thank you. Thanks for watching.